All right, today I'm going to show you how to deactivate your Facebook account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the app. As you can see, it's open right now. And I'm going to look towards the bottom of the page. And there's a bar that has icons on it. There's one that says Home, Watch, Profile, Notification. And then there's a menu icon at the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and select on that. And when I select on that, it brings me to the page, the menu page. And what I'll do is from here, I'll scroll down until I see settings and privacy. The settings and privacy tab is right below the help and support and right above where it says also from Meta. So I'm going to go ahead and select on the settings and privacy tab. And when I select on that, it opens up where it gives me options. There is the settings option, which is right above the uh, device request. If you look towards the middle of the page, I'm going to go ahead and click on settings. And when I click on settings, it brings me to yet another page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on personal and account information. It is at the top of the page right below where it says account. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It says personal and account information. Click on that. And it brings me to this page where it says, bring, it has my name up there, Barack Obama. And then I'm going to scroll down to where it says account ownership and control, which is at the bottom. Uh, you see contact info and then identify, identify identity confirmation. And the tab below, it says account ownership and control. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And when I click on that, it gives me two options, memorialization settings. And then at the bottom, it says deactivate and deletion. I'm going to go ahead and click on deactivate and deletion. Now it gives me two options. I can deactivate my account or I can delete my account. And it is important that you know the difference between these two. When you deactivate an account, it says deactivating your account is temporarily. You can, your account will be disabled and your name and photos will be removed from most things that you have shared. You'll be able to continue using Messenger. Okay, so that's important to know when you deactivate your account. However, the option of delete your account. Deleting your account is permanent. When you delete your Facebook account, you won't be able to retrieve the content or information you've shared on Facebook. Your messenger and all of your messages will also be deleted. So you can select that if you want to, but if you feel like you're going to come back, go ahead and go to deactivate. And after you've selected that, Click on continue to account deactivation on the blue bar at the bottom of the screen. And once you do this, it gives you a whole bunch of options to choose from. If you don't want to select any of this, just try to go ahead and continue. But when you do that, it says missing action information, missing required information. So you have to select this. Uh, say, for instance, it's temporary and you'll be back, go ahead and select that at the top of the page. Or if it's another one of these options, go ahead and select that. But once you make your selection or enter in your reasoning for deactivation right here at the bottom, uh, go ahead and click on continue. And then it says right here, it gives you more options right down here. It says, uh, it actually has, do you want to log out instead? They give you options. They're trying to prevent you from actually deactivating your account save post on your iCov. It gives you all these options. And then it has an automatic reactivating your account. And it is set to automatically at seven. You can make an adjust adjustments right here. And if you don't want it to reactivate automatically, go ahead and scroll to the bottom right there where it says don't reactivate automatically. Click on that. And then go ahead and continue. And it gives you some more options. It says keep using messages. All of these options right here. Notifications. If you don't want any of these, don't select uh, this. It says it says keep using messenger. 
Um, but if you want to opt out of receiving future notifications, you can go ahead and select that. But then when you're ready to deactivate, go ahead and select deactivate my account. And guess what? It's deactivated just like that. And to reactivate it, it gives me a prompt uh, session expired. Please log on again. If you want to reactivate it, go ahead and sign back on where you have to enter your password and all of your material will be readily accessible. So that's how you deactivate your account. I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.